Hello, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 9 of this video series. So in this tutorial, I am just going to discuss about the razor view in an ASP.NET MVC application. So I have few points. I will discuss it and then I will move to the implementation part. So here I have some important points. So Razor is not a programming language, it's a server-side markup language and Razor let you embed server-based code into web pages means you can uh, write your C sharp code on your view. Okay, now you can see the syntax of it. Uh, if I put at the red symbol uh, before four keyword then it will be considered as C sharp code. Now Razor syntax rule. So Razor code block are enclosed in at the rate open braces and close braces. Okay, within that you can write your uh, any C sharp code. Okay, so inline expression variable function start with at the rate symbol. Okay and code statement end with semicolon variable declares with the var keyword okay now you can see some single statement block example inline expression example multiple statement example okay so in single statement block uh, we are just declaring a message and in inline expression or variable we are using that message by putting at the rate symbol and in multiple statement we have uh, multiple variables like uh, greeting weekday and we can manipulate uh, them okay inside this braces okay now we can use object uh, through this if I put at the rate time before the date time object then it will be it will give me the current date time okay so date time dot now will get uh, will give me the current date time actually okay so date time object is a typical built-in uh, ASP dot node but we can also use our own defined object like we are just doing from the beginning of this tutorial okay so razor is very 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 simple so don't need to be worried about so just uh, you just need to do uh, just put a at the rate symbol and uh, uh, your open braces and close braces within that you can write your uh, C sharp code or you can use your HTML statement within that also okay so this is conditional statement example if and else so in this way you can implement and now you can use loop is looping statement like this for loop for each so now let's see practical example okay so I'm gonna use a razor syntax so uh, I will put at the rate symbol open braces and close braces within that I will write my server side code and I will just write HTML code also so that's a flexibility okay so I uh, you can say I am just writing a string uh, message equals how are you today okay so now can see uh, if I want to use it then uh, open a bold within bold symbol uh, I will I will just write this message okay let's run let's run this project and let's see what's gonna happen here so it will just print uh, message only see you can see and I need to put at the rate symbol before it then it it is considered as the variable 
or a string okay so now I will if I refresh it then I can see how are you today okay now basically this is the uh, sing single single statement block example okay now uh, I'm gonna use multiple variable like uh, I let's see int uh, int I equals to 2 and int J equal to 3 okay and now int K equal to I plus J so you can see this is exactly happening uh, like uh, I'm writing a C sharp code here and uh, also I'm printing here okay so I will use a div statement and I will just print at the rate key value and I will just put a message here like bold in a bold uh, right. your sum is colon k okay so it will just print me the sum of both okay so and if I don't put any symbol then definitely it will not be considered as server side okay so it will just print as it is k okay so I hope you understood this so now this is called multiple statement because in 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 the same block I am using uh, I am just declaring the multiple variable and again I will just I can use multiple block here means multiple like uh, I can use loop statement uh, or conditional statement here okay and you can notice that uh, you can use semicolon after every statement okay or or just I'm cutting it out and I'm just pasting it here so you have declared your message here but you can st uh, uh, you can also access um, outside of this block okay now come to the third things like uh, I'm just using uh, one more div and I'm just putting today is I'm just going to use uh, object here so today is at the rate symbol I'm going to use that date time object dot now dot day of the week so now it will give me today so here you go so today is Sunday okay and now in the next statement I'm just going to use the for keyword so for loop uh, in the loop statement uh, either you can write this way okay if I use for then it also work and if I just delete this and if I directly use it then also it can it can work okay so I'm just declaring int i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and now I'm going to print let's uh, name it different num ok 
okay I'm just giving it num because I uh, already been used okay and now I'm going to print this this list okay so let's delete all of this thing and let's use this for okay and now I'm going to use div uh, number is this okay so put at the red sign so now if you click on this then definitely it will be using the same same integer at at the rate date time dot now dot if you time of the day or time of the day will be the same or if I can second okay now refresh it now you can see within one second it has printed like on the 20th second it just printed all the 0 0 at 20 okay now this is for loop looping statement you can use also use for each and now I'm going to use uh, conditional statement so put at the rate if okay so first I would like to declare declare a variable so I need to use this at the rate symbol okay and now I will just declare int i equals equal to 6 okay let's say and now I am just putting condition uh, if i percentile 2 equal to equal to 0 then at the rate i is m is oh, just just delete it and put it in div okay now at the rate i is n even number okay else at the rate i is an odd number okay oh Sen. okay and also keep it in a div tag or a span tag because HTML syntax is required okay now press control F5 so here I'm going to use this okay it will uh, it's not going it will give me this this output because Okay, six is an even number. Okay, it's work. It's work because I have used at the rate this line, so whole line will be considered at as C sharp statement. Okay, so if I put at the rate sign, then you can see uh, the at the rate symbol is not highlighted. Okay, so either you use or not use. So within a same line, you can use only one one at the rate symbol. 
okay so 6 is an even number is output and now and at the last I'm just going to discuss about how to uh, how to uh, come in that section so just let's select all this thing or you can just let's select all and press control K C okay so now separate it so in this way at the rate asterisk at the rate is asterisk at the rate so in this way you can come into your statement okay so thank you very much for watching this uh, I hope you understood all this concept so razor is very simple you can use anytime okay thank you very much for watching if you really like then give a thumb and give a thumbs up and uh, comment share my video and help others too okay bye bye have a great day